Hey! We, we did it! Welcome, weirdlings. We're on time! That's the first. It's the freaking first time ever. You need the technical genius know-how of Amanda and Brandon to uh, make that happen. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Yay! We are going to be unboxing some D&D minis tonight. Ooh. This is the newest set, the third set, Rage of Demons. Rage of Demons? Yeah, it's pretty intense. That's a great name. So they've been tying all these minis with their uh, their published adventures. Okay. So the first adventure set was uh, uh, the Port of the Dragon Queen uh -huh. and uh, Rise of Tiamat. And that's the one you did with um, Abby, right? Yes, correct. Okay. And that set was uh, uh, something of the dragons. And the second one was like the Princes of the Apocalypse, and that was the Elemental Evil minis. Yes, yeah. and we did that one together. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And this one goes with the current Out of the Abyss storyline, which awesome. uh, we're going to play pretty soon. Not in Heroes of Awesome, but with my group. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Donkey Mint is in. You're welcome to join us if you want. You guys got like 20 people on our game <laughs> already. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. I'm thinking about filming that one, so we'll see how that goes. So I wonder if... Okay. Cool. There's three viewers. <laughs> three people are watching right now. <laughs> Someone said that... Oh, it's oh wait, up. it's going up. Oh, okay. Maybe it just Updating. takes a minute. Okay. So now... Here we go. We're unwrapping. We're doing it. Because if I recall correctly, this takes a little bit of time. <laughs> yes, it does. Do we savor each and every one of these minis? Nope. Oh, man. Guys, there's like this super sweet beholder on the back of all of these that, fingers crossed, going to get one. This is the figure I want the most. I want it to. Do we arm wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> Physical challenge? Do you want, can I open the first one? Please. Okay. Although you should explain the box a little bit first. Okay. As is proper with the unboxing video. Um, well, on the box we have this two-headed monster. Do you know what kind of monster this is? I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's some kind of demon. But I mean, I'm really super interested in all of these demons. They look amazing. All of them. Uh, yeah. They're pretty severe. Oh, and there's a copper dragon. Oh my god, glare. <laughs> this big shine. Look at it. Okay. You can see a roper on the side. That guy's pretty classical. 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 He looks like a stalagmite. What's the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite? So the way I always remembered it is a stalagmite might hit the ceiling. Might hit the ceiling? Yeah. That's how you okay. remember it? Okay. Yeah, and a stalactite holds tight. Oh, see, I didn't know that part. That's why I was always confused because I also thought it could be it might hit the floor. <laughs> I can see that. I that totally see that. Never really did me much good. Okay, here uh, we go. I'm getting into it. So, if you all have any questions, be sure to chat to us because we can see oh, yeah. what you're saying and we'd love to field any questions you have. Yeah, there is a chat field. Tell us if the music is too loud because that got really intense there for a second. <laughs> Some ambiance. <laughs> Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> Immediately. Language. That's good. Swear cat. No. Um. Okay. Here we go. Did you see my swear cat shirt that I got in the mail? I did. Well, I saw what you got in the mail. Yeah, I got my Back to the Future shirt instead. <laughs> here we go, y'all. That looks like a troll. Um, it is a troll. Yeah. Boom. Um. Wow, it's got like a some nice warts or some kind of weird skin problem. It's character. Oh my god. This is great. It looks like he's about to tell you a joke though, honestly. Like, <laughs> hey, hey. I got a good one. <laughs> you hear the one about the hippogriff? Oh, I, got, I got no joke there, but yeah. there you go. He's cool. I love that you get all these extra little mini guys in addition to your mini. <laughs> See, I always saw the big ones as a bonus. Oh. Oh, there's Billy Badass. Ooh, that dude. It's a drow scout. 
Hiya! <laughs> Is he a kung fu dragon? Yeah. <laughs> look at the look at that sweet cape. So a lot of this adventuring is going to be in the Underdark, from what I understand. Okay, so, and that's where the drows kick it, right? Yeah, exactly. Got it. Caverns and deep, uh, no sun territory. Are they typically bad, drows? They are typically bad. They are usually evil, but uh, one of the greatest heroes ever, Drizzt Dwarden, was a, was a good drow. Okay, so this lady looks like a badass. Um, yeah. She's a drow captain. She has that sweet sword, and she has a, was that a short bow? Looks like a short bow. Short bow. I wasn't sure if that was a crossbow, but it looks like a, kind of a gangster held short bow. Yeah. Nice. Glock, glock. Glock, glock. <laughs> <laughs> what the noise it makes? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. What the... Um, so Mark says, don't forget to check the Q&A app as well. I can't see the chat, but I can get the Q&A app. There's a Q&A? Yeah, it says, oh, look at that. He says there's some questions. Oh, my God. <clears throat> nice. Yeah. I saw you were excited about Beholders. What's the chance of getting one per brick? So ask Chris Kamarai. Um, I think it's a, it's a rare figure. I know that, um... And some of us employees of Outlaw Moon Games have tried to uh, uncover the secret of the Beholder. Mm -hmm. Only KC Shelton has has gotten. Actually, he's gotten two. He's got a, a a rare regular Beholder, and before that, he got a ultra rare. Um, I think it was called a Shadow Beholder. So, what's the difference between them? So, any of the Shadow figures, they're unpainted and they're made with like translucent plastic. Ah. So, if we see anything like that, it's a pretty rare, awesome figure. Oh, okay. Huh. So you have to paint it? Um, you don't want to paint that because it's, you could probably sell it for like 40, 50 bucks if you no really way. wanted to. Yeah. Um, people, uh, the collectors have to get all of them will pay dearly for those. I'm not, I think they look really cool, but I'd rather just have like one of every regular figure. Okay. Because the chances of me using a shadow beholder, I mean, you guys aren't going to be able to face a Beholder for a while anyways. Well, not Already. at the way we get to level up. I'm working on it. Um, how can you tell if you get something rare? You pretty much have to check online. Um, I've seen rarity listings somewhere. Um, I don't even remember where. But you can look it up. I think there's like an archive page for it. And So you have to go back through and just kind of type in every little thing that you got. Well, I mean, you could you could look up like D and D or Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Wrath of Demons, Rage of Demons, sorry, and uh, and like rarity, and you'll get like a list and see what all is rare. Cool. Um, is that question? So we're supposed to be cl clicking on the an the question that we're answering. <laughs> so next one, uh, in the troll twenty five fifty five, you will be lucky if you make it out alive. Sounds like a reference. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I don't know if that was a question. Thank you. See me. But thank you. Uh, okay. And so, yeah. Doesn't have chats. Doesn't have the chat functionality. Camera eye helping us out. What's this dude? This is like the dog from Ghostbusters, I was thinking right? the same thing. I was totally thinking the same thing. Dretch demon. Zool. Zool. Where's the camera? There it is. In the middle. I have not to get Go to the out. green light. <laughs> Go to the light. See how dirty my fingernails are. All right, so what I'm also going to do is take a picture of each box assortment, and I'm going to tweet it for you all. So if you need a closer look or a more high-def look, you'll have that option too. I'm going to try and open this box in the meantime. Yeah. Oh my god, so much tape. I think music was a pretty good idea, Amanda. <laughs> I feel <laughs> I feel pretty inspired. That's so the right mood. So, Brandon, do you have a favorite monster of all time? Uh, my all-time favorite monster is a lich. Oh, right on. Okay. Which? Which? Are which, you going to sing us a song? Well, no, no. I was just going to plug. Um... If anyone's going to be in Austin on October 18th, 
it's a Sunday, we're going to host at Outlaw Moon, the Tomb of Horrors. Uh, Casey and I are updating the original adventure to mm. uh, fifth edition, and we've invited 28 adventurers, four groups of seven. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Um, to show up and die horribly. Yeah. Quickly, probably. Uh, it's going to be awesome. And I will probably be phone recording that as well. Phone recording it? I don't want to say filming because what I do is not filming. Okay. Uh, phone recording works for me. Okay. So Whoa. check out this thing. Oh my God. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> It turn into that. So uh, that is clearly an afreet, a fire afreet of some kind. Yeah, it's just a just a freet. Yeah. Right. Wow. So what's the deal with this guy? So he's a he's a genie. Um, okay. Basically, he's evil Jafar. Uh, right on. Yeah. Uh, surely he's got like wish powers and he's probably some fiery stuff, because I've, there's like well. A freet is kind of more fire based, and a jin is more, I think, water, air based. Okay. Yeah. So it's like an elemental genie. Basically. Sort of. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not quite as powerful as uh, the Robin Williams genie, but pretty good. Ermagerd, no chat. Yep. That's <laughs> true. Was that Sergeant? Yeah. Sakes? Thank you for joining. Yay. I love him. That we know all of our fans, now, <laughs> or at least the ones we that got some cool fans for sure. Those are the best. So another question: Are you going to use uh, use it for any of the weirdling campaigns? Absolutely, I use these minis as much as I can. Uh, unfortunately, recently we've mostly dealt with human type people, mm -hmm. and my collection of human minis are they don't give you a whole lot. Humanoids. Humanoids. Well, that includes like goblins and trolls and all that. And those are the ones I get to use the most. All right, so I posted the first picture of our first group of miscreants. Okay. So it looks like we got another um, Ghostbusters dog. Doubles already. Well, there are two in the movie. Oh, okay. So if I get I'm no okay more, with that. I'm good. So uh, do you know the names of both the ghost dogs? Oh, no, do you? I sure do. What are they? It is Zool and Vince Clortho. Wow. It is my favorite movie. I remember Zool, like when she gets sucked up into the refrigerator. Yeah, there is no Dana, only Zool. Yeah. There is no Dana, only Zool. <laughs> um, okay, so... Of course, we... Rick Moranis is Vince Clortho. Oh my god, you should be him for Halloween. <laughs> I've been a Ghostbuster before. I have the outfit still. I made a protein proton pack. No! <laughs> a protein shake. A protein shake. I do make those on occasion. Okay, so we got this guy. What's it? <laughs> what is that guy? Um, This one's hard to read. I haven't even seen the guy yet. Oh. Ooh, some form of Rocky dude. Yeah. It's not a shambling mound, right? I don't know. It's a Quagoth. Quagoth. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, what do <gasps> Hello. What you got there? Oh. It's a blink dog. Blink dog. What is a blink dog? Also a demonic uh, canine that uh, teleports, I believe. <laughs> it okay, it, does it have eyes? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. I mean, it's called a blink dog, but I don't really see eyes on it. I think it's more because it blinks in and out of uh, existence. But let's find out real fast. You oh, have, my God. We prepared this time. Look at what I got. Monster manual. So let's see what the blink dog does. Did you guys ever see the episode of um, on Doctor Who blink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That so is scary. creepy. So scary. So scary. So scary. So terrifying. Oh, we got a few questions too. All right. Do I click? I don't click on done. Do so I? you click on the one that you are responding to. All right. So what about oh, this one? Do I click yeah, on click done. Okay. I just don't want to end the whole thing. 
<laughs> Where'd you get that rad shirt, Brando? You guys select it? Right. Okay. So that question's from Donkey Mint. Um, this is a Super 7 shirt that I picked up at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, Castlevania is one of my all-time favorite games, and I've got a, uh, a lifelong fascination with Grim Reaper iconography. So that is why I have that shirt. Also, I was going to get a tattoo of this guy when I beat Castlevania. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I, uh, I beat Castlevania for the first time last year after years and years and years of not being able to. Um, I don't see a blink dog on here unless it's under dog. I should check in the uh, back. I'll do that. Sometimes they do have weird listings. Um, what other question we got? That drow in the beginning, I think he has a crossbow and not a bow. I believe that. Thank you, Sean. Cool. <laughs> Werewolf? I think that's just a great question in general. <laughs> <laughs> Werewolf? <laughs> the answer is yes. All right. Matt, Mark says we look great and sound great. Yay! Approval always uh, makes me happy. Hi guys, glad to catch up with you finally. Oh, also, so apparently I have a, a three eighteen. What's the what's Will Ferrell and Anchorman? Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. I will start reading it. So if you type in something filthy, I might not catch it till I say it. <laughs> glad to catch up with you finally. Do you want to open up that? <laughs> Currently trying to create a special pick for Abby. I think y'all will like it. Well, thank you, Sergeant Stuck. Oh, I'm excited. We got to see Abby yesterday wow. when we were filming a thing. Look, it's in the book, a blink dog. That's it all big. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like it. It does look just like it. So what is a blink it's dog? It's lawful good, so oh. not actually horrible. Happy dude. Happy dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Does he do anything? Um, teleport. Yeah. Yeah, right. you can teleport. And he bites. Imagine that. What the hell was that? Oh, a it's cricket. A, there's a cricket in here. <laughs> so those of you who don't live in Texas, we have these like weird plague of crickets here and there a couple times a year. It's very strange. Um, <laughs> oh, crap. Stone Inn is here. Hide the rugs. Hide the trucks. Sergeant Stockus, you know us so well. <laughs> so what happened with the tattoo? Oh, um, so I think I'm going to get the Outlaw Moon gal as a tattoo before I do that. That would be a great tattoo. Yeah, I really love the design of that character by uh, Billy Perkins, local artist. And uh, it looks more, I mean, I think it's going to be hard to do like the rigid lines of a bit, 8-bit looking thing. I don't know. If you could find the right artist to do that. If anyone has any Austin-based recommendations for the right uh, artist to do that. Are you trying to keep these boxes because... No, throw okay. those away. I'm tearing them up. I cannot get a good angle on these pictures, though. <laughs> that will have to do. Okay. Do you want to take this next one? Sure. Brandon, do you think you'd ever make heroes play a game, maybe like Blood Bowl or Quidditch, in a campaign? Just seems like it'd be funny for Warren Scarlet. Ask Chris Camerai. That is a good question. Um, I would be willing to do something like that. How would that work if we're role-playing? Well, basically, that's going to be like... Probably a little bit of strategical moving and roll dice rolling. Okay. Um, and me figuring out what exactly needs to happen. So I think you were just talking about this. I was. So what is this here? That is a gin. So this is the water version of this thing. Hmm. Yeah. When those guys get together to fight, that's going to be entertaining. So is this a good guy? Typically, I don't think either of them are particularly good. I think they're kind of more, you know, as you said, elemental based. Uh -huh. So they're kind of like at the whims of you know, their selves or their masters. He has a 
Really awesome red eyes. Um, I like this guy. I uh, bet I bet you might get to keep him because I think I opened one. Oh, you already have that guy? I think so. Okay. Opinion on LARPing. P.S. Mm. You guys are awesome. No, you're awesome. Thanks, Elliot. Yeah. You are awesome. You're a hero of awesome. I'm, I like LARPing. I mean, I've never done it. I've watched people do it. I I've, think it's great. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I... Oh, man. <laughs> I love this thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, I, I want people to have fun with it however they want to have fun. So we go to we went to the Renaissance Fair, Sherwood Forest Fair. That is... This is amazing. I don't know what it is. It's a grill. It's a brain <laughs> with a brain. beak <laughs> and some tentacles at the bottom. Oh, it's This is so good. This is my favorite thing. That is a grill, right? I mean, it's yeah. Oh, it's so cool. He is pretty neat. I'll probably get doubles of him. Ooh. Yeah, that's what that is. What is this? Ooh. Chicken <laughs> demon. <laughs> it is a chicken. <laughs> Can you see it? It's got a little waddle. <laughs> Can you read the name? Uh, I can't read these. Yeah, the little ones are hard. It's a cockatrice. It is a chicken demon. There you go. <laughs> My chicken noise. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, it's really hard to get into their things. Do you? Okay, so when you guys are. Um, making the name for your characters do you look for something with a meaning or just go with something that sounds cool so when you say for something with a meaning i'm i'm guessing you mean like um it translates into something elvish or dwarvish or it fits within the D, &D canon um i do not do that um, well you talk us through a malibu barbarian i mean i was influenced by um Barbies clearly so that's that's something that sounds cool would answer your question so with uh, Bucks Buxton Bucks dumb cough I rolled his stats and I knew I wanted a gambler and his dump stat is intelligence it's pathetic it's like a six um, so I thought what a real dumb cop and then I thought well what a kind of funny last name that would be for that guy and I wanted to give him a very um, Western sounding first name. Oh, Bucks. Bucks. Yeah. Um, and I'm from Ohio originally. Ohio. Home of the Buckeyes. So. Oh, it all comes together. That's how I came up with his name. But the next character I make, his name just sounds cool to me. Although, his name is, I never get the name, the first name, the same way. I always mix it up. Okay. Um. Then Seal, uh, or. I don't know. It's something like that. V E N something, so it can be shortened to Ven. Okay. And the last name was Bond. Mm. B O N, so it <laughs> sort of evokes Bond um, and also is a tribute to Bond Scott, the first singer for ACDC. Oh, right on. Yeah. I have like a dragonborn name, um, Azula Von Dinosaur. Probably the best dino uh, dragonborn name <laughs> I've ever heard. She's a blue dragonborn. <laughs> Um, so here we have a human wizard. Hey, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is basically Mark's character, except he looks pretty old. He's, he is an older dude. He's, he's an older dude. Classic old guy wizard, though. Yeah. There's not enough figures for them. Looking very stoic. So I think that's it from so that, that one. <laughs> this music is great. That's pretty epic. Okay. By the way, Donkey, that's Jin, not Jin. <laughs> G -I oh, yeah, I don't think Donkey meant drinks. He's not a big drinker. No, I'd say He's more into herbs. We're more of the drinking types. 
Well, at least I am. <laughs> I won't speak for you. Uh, we'll grant your wish, but in the worst way possible, right? Oh, Jen will grant your wish, but in the worst way possible? I think for the most part, something like that. I mean, kind of like Twilight Zone genies. Oh. Um, but so why would you ever talk to them? The promise of power. Hmm. I would guess, maybe. Um, you know, the situation could probably dictate something else. Why am I not getting any screen? So phone? you could be powerful, but you might not have skin anymore. <laughs> Hope that worked out well for so, you. Hope you're happy. Donald Trump. Or you can't can't stop pooping. <laughs> or Stone end disease. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. All sorts of cool dudes in this set. This is amazing. Distracted by my toys. Okay. Holy crap. I just realized Bucks is secretly That's Sergeant Schultz. Schultz. He's a dumb cop and he gambles all the time. Mind blown. Not intentional, but there you go. Oh, get out. I don't want to break you. I don't, I don't want you to come out. I don't want you to break that either. Oh, it's Donkey Man asking. Now that you've played both, which do you prefer between rangers and barbarians? Because he's trying to figure out what his next character is going to be. Um, ooh, that's tough. Rangers are great for um, for distance attacks. You don't have to get in the middle of anything. You just kind of stay on the outside, and you can do a lot of damage as a ranger. But there's something really fun about being a barbarian that's just mad and wreck and shop so i don't know that's hard because i love claire I, I can't decide i can't decide both are great <laughs> it, i guess it just depends do you want to do um melee fighting or do you want to keep your distance so check this out <laughs> wow this what is this uh, well, I'm cheating because I just saw it there. Oh. It's a drider. What is a drider? Um, I mean, it's pretty much exactly what it looks like. It's like a half uh, drow, half spider. This is so cool. That is a really great mini. So are they born this way or is it something that a drow can eventually become? Is it like a spell? I think they're born that way. It could be... A military thing i'll be honest i have not actually dealt with too many drow in my uh, uh my game playing not really dived into the underdark too often but we're about to be an expert soon uh okay amanda any type of character that you would like to play like tiefling or gnome like Ooh. a race specifically yeah i guess it's race specific um so the Dragonborn character that I've started, I've only played her twice. Um, so I feel like I haven't really even gotten to see what she can do. Um, so Dragonborn is really what I want to play the most. I want to, I mean, they can, they can like spit fire. Um, or poison. Or poison. Or... Yeah, because she's blue, she can... Um, she does ice, right? She does lightning. Oh, yeah. So. White is ice. Very cool. Yeah. I definitely want to play around more with Dragonborn. Uh, oh, I know. Do you spell it as elf or elves when thinking about that race? I well, know. I mean, when it's singular, I use E-L-F. And when it's plural, it's E-L-V-E-S. Now... The difference between Elvish and Elven? I do not know. <laughs> no idea. We have a gnome archer. I don't know. It's not a gnome. That's a goblin, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's got to be a goblin. Oh, you're right. It's a goblin. Yeah. You're right. Dude's a little too uh, <clears throat> creepy looking to be a gnome. What else we got here? 
what do you think is the best class? I'm making a new character, and my one friend says mage. There's too many that sound fun to play, asked Elliot Biggs. This is a really good one. <laughs> uh, Sorry, answer the question. <laughs> the best class. That's tough. I mean, I mean, really, just whatever sounds coolest to you. Yeah. I think they're all pretty equally fun. I mean, I'm going to have less fun playing. I mean, I've avoided Bard all my life, but mm. the idea of having a dude that warbles out a song on cue. Yeah. Oof. I've, I've really only mostly until the past couple of years played thief and occasional fighter, but I started doing, I did a warlock and I really like that. Um, I'm playing whatever bucks is. That's fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're all good, but if, if you are going to be like a spell caster, try to be a wizard at first because like warlocks and sorcerers, they both have sorcerers are really cool, uh, but they have like drawbacks, so they don't have as many spells they can fling around. Well, I would say being a wizard has its drawbacks too, because you're like, I've played a wizard before, and it feels like you're not very powerful until you get to like level six or seven. It's very true. It's a slow build on wizards. But once you like, you have to commit to it, and once you get to that level then you can start to do really amazing things but it's a lot of like i'm almost dead i can't really do that much which was frustrating for me um playing a monk is really fun monks are pretty badass yeah um i mean and you can go kind of traditional with it like you know sort of a almost kung fu style monk in D. &D. um well you could basically be like the avatar if, if you want. Yeah, yep, yep. You get the Fist of Unbroken Wind. Uh, you can monkey around with it and make Poffo the Macho. <laughs> okay, so this is a Banshee, and her face is so good. I don't know if you can see it, but, oh, God, please. <laughs> like, she has, she's all transparent except for, like, a mouth that's painted on her. <laughs> And some eyeballs. Oh, God. We'll have to take a picture. It's amazing, though. <laughs> she's really good. Oh, my God. And she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> she, she'll get a close-up. That's pretty good. Creepy. Okay. Focus. Whoa. A Dero. Look at this guy. Whoa. Look at this. Look at his hair. He looks like he has a lot of sass. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's being electrocuted. <laughs> he looks like he's fun. Can't not get a good focus on this thing. Yeah. It's so good. Banshee. Yes. Good. Daryl. There's also this little guy. Yeah. Oh God, one dude. Um, my wizard just finished the Lost Mines, and we're about to start Tyranny as a rogue, having never played anything but spellcasters before. Any tips or suggestions from Team Awesome? For a rogue. For a rogue. Um, check for traps. Always check for tra <laughs> traps. Stealth. Be stealthy. <laughs> Um, never forget sneak attack. You should, yeah, always. sneak attack should be your the thing that you do all the time. So, and when you get your bonus move, like I think it's second level, it's really early on. Um, sneak attack and use that bonus move action or disengage action and just be like, peace, so you can hide again and always sneak attack. Always, I mean, you should be darting in and out of shadows non stop. Oh, I say CN Gnome Wild Magic Sorcerer is the best class. Just never going to know when he blows up himself and everybody else. What is CN Gnome? Chaotic Neutral. Oh. Um, yep, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so hard to play with someone who's like, uh, 
you know, about to explode the entire scene, <laughs> you know. It's always a danger. I found a combo of shield, mage armor, and false life I could almost tank with my whiz. Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> that combined with unlimited cantrips, you aren't, you aren't nearly squ as squishy. Shield, mage armor, and false life. Yeah, I mean, that's going to keep you alive pretty pretty. That seems decently. like a good combo. So we got this thing. Oh, that's hideous. Um, what movie does that make you think of? Oh, um, the Eddie Murphy one with, um, do you know what I'm talking about? Where the golden child? Okay, the golden child? The golden child, when that guy turns into a demon. Uh, I know he's not blue, but he kind of, I feel like, looks like this. So I think the head looks like the guys from the dark lab. I would, I was going to say it just have a Jim Henson face to it. Yes. What is that? A rock demon. The rock. Let's go. Strider. That what? That what happens to the drow when she kisses Lolthoth. I believe that she's the uh, the spider queen. The, uh, the basically the goddess of uh, the drow. Cool. Mm -hmm. so, this is amazing. It's like a drow. Sorcerer or warlock? Mage. Mage. Look at this sweet like staff with some purple stuff. <laughs> purple, purple stuff. Got some purple things. Screw Sunny D. I always want the purple stuff. <laughs> purple drink. Purple drink. Uh, he looks pretty good when he's on his little. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, as good as a horrible hawk demon. Brandon, you like playing with class rules, Popo Bucks. How do you guys feel about guns and dandy? Ooh. Uh, I think there are really neat campaigns that are not. I love that DD has the flexibility to not just be fantasy, where you can have like other things. Uh, I just bought the classic um, module Expedition of the Barrier Reefs, which introduces laser pistols. Huh. UFOs um, and sci-fi, but the heroes of awesome are never going to find like an archivist. I remember thinking my character when we played second edition was like going for that gun, going to save up all my gold or find one. Never happened, which is okay because it does too much damage. This but is it. a cute little guy. He's <laughs> so little. He's got a cute little tail. Who is that? He's a—he's got a little pink gremlin face. He's adorable. A quasit. Well, I love him. Now I want a pet quasit. That's really good. Oh, and there's also this guy, Drow Scout. Yeah, another one of these. Don't don't we have one of these already? I yeah, do we do. Have a Drow Scout. I am loaded for you guys going into the Underdark though. So. Oh boy. That's gonna happen. <laughs> I think, uh, what's the name? John Renfro. Renfro John says, that is awesome looking concerning the, I believe, the Banshee. Yes. Is Mark going to put a wig on for the next live stream? I hope so. We have so many wigs that he could try on. I think, I think it should happen. You should tell him that you think it should happen too. Make our dreams come true. The one the DM once gave us a chest of sneezing and coughing and told us it was baking supplies. I tried to make a loaf of bread. Killed us all. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's a terrible way to go, but it's a good story to tell. Whoa. Sorry for your loss, Elliot. Oh my god. Uh, is that a carrion crawler? It is. Yes. Holy moly. Look at this guy. Hello. So, Amanda, do you remember your tryout adventure um, when you guys yes. went yeah. into that room and there was the baby uh, yeah. crib? 
This was one of the first. This was the first thing I I fought in D and D. A baby version of that. Wow. You hear the music? Well, apparently we're all Star Wars in the up <laughs> now, so that's cool. Look at his mouth. Ah! <laughs> Guess what that thing eats? What does it eat? Carrion. Hey. Ooh. Oh, that's a cobalt. Yeah, it is. That's our pal Bubsy before he lost his arm. There we go. It, it kind of has like a little fox face. Yeah, it's supposed to be like lizard-like. Little lizard guy. They are typically the first monster you face in D&D. &D. Huh. He is the best friend of the Butchers of Greenest, our, our group for Wednesdays. Grimlock. That's gross. He doesn't really have much of a neck. <laughs> Boom. Oh, man. He's got four necks. <laughs> juice. What is grape juice? <laughs> Give me some, some of, of that, that purple, purple stuff. stuff. You wish Bullywug was a playable right race. Um, oh, my God. I'm going to be Hermit the Bullywug. What is a Bullywug? A little frog man. That would be a very cool playable race. So they've been adding some um, some other races on their website mm. that you can play. Ooh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> you distracted me. But uh, they have not added Bullywug yet. That would be excellent. I think it's the one that pretty much everyone wants to play. So, Or at least everyone who wants to be a weird little frog guy. I'm into it. Don't we all? Don't we all? Brad Wilson says, Purple Flame! Purple Flame! Okay, so there's this guy. What are you? Shadow Demon. Seems uh, so it has a white mouth. It it somebody took white and just put a rim around its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eating cocaine. He's got some <laughs> <laughs> old school. That's what drugs will do to you, kids. I just got in from Miami. <gasps> Oh my god, it's Haley Meals. Oh my god. Hey girl. Hi Haley. Uh, I've never done this Google Plus thing before. I was so confused. Finally figured it out. Hi guys. Um, do you guys have any minis that you are really hoping to open and get? Well, the beholder. That's we the talked big about one. this earlier. That's that's the one. Dragons are always cool. Yeah. I'm never, dragons. Never frown at a dragon. Um Kenneth really wants me to get a Russ monster, um, another employee here at Outlaw Moon, and he'll trade me just about anything to get it, so I wouldn't mind that either. So what do you guys think is the best sword and sorcery style movie or TV show? Oh, oh That's really hard. That's a good question. Um, sorcery style? Uh, gosh. I don't know. I love Conan the Barbarian so much. I watch it every couple months. The movie? The movie. Wow. I love it. It's not very PC. It's not PC at mm. all. But, you know, I'm not I'm not taking it into uh, informing my life choices or anything. <laughs> good. good. Um, but, yeah, it's so good. <gasps> um Oh, it's a roper. That's rad. Wow. Yeah, you guys will probably be facing one of him soon, since I have a mini for it. Okay, what? Uh, uh, tell me what a roper is. So he's basically like a cavern uh, dwelling creature who, I mean, shockingly, just wants to grab you and eat you. Huh. Yeah, I mean, look at that thing. What else can it do? All right. Here we go. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't even have to get that close. You can really see what's happening here. Very early in the career of the Butchers of Greenest, we uh, we were in a cave, and there was something making a lot of noise in a, a room. Uh huh. And we just decided to not go in. Oh, and it was one of it these. It was one of those. Mm -hmm. so, I would just yeah walk away. Yeah, there's, you know what? Not today. Yeah, there's, we're we're kind of beat up. A bunch of mushrooms like wipe this out a little bit. So, oh, it's Imagine another one that. of those chicken monsters. Cockatrice duplicate. Cockatwice. 
What? Yes. I'm so clever. More than three's company. Come on, knock on our door. I don't know what that was in reference to, Gregory Schmidt, but I appreciate. Uh, Ooh, it's a half orc paladin. Whoa, that guy looks pretty elegant. Yeah. Interesting combo. Yeah, it's good armor, too. We got to get some of that for uh, Nala. Oh. We have a lot of questions. That cobalt looks like mini Jar Jar on cam. Kill them all with fire. Also, Conan punching the camel, best scene in movie history, in my opinion, just saying. Uh, Sergeant Stockus, I have to agree with you. The, of the hundred times I've seen that movie, I've laughed at that bit every time. Oh, good question. Do we find out the name of the two-headed monster on the box yet? So, referring to this thing, do you know what it is? I'm going to look it up. I or don't. you could tell us. You could tell us real quick. Um, two headed. Oh, he says the rover. What? The rover? Oh, that was the reference for Three's Company. <laughs> uh, so the ro You know what? I even made that joke like earlier in the week with uh, Ken. Whoa. Yeah, ridiculous. This looks like a tough lady. Ooh, she does look pretty tough. With her white dreads. So let's see. Let's see what the internet has to say about two-headed monster on Out of the Abyss. Uh, two-headed monster. Muppet Wiki has something about it. I don't know. Okay, so this is the last one. Is that really the last one? Wait. No, there's it, something in there. Oh, is this part of it? There's another one, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no that's not it. Nikes. So. Oh, man. No beholder. beholder. Come on. No dragons. No beholder. I kind of got a slightly bum brick. Please be a beholder. Please. Man, they don't mess around with taping this stuff up. <laughs> I should have got like a little blade to cut it with. But... All right, let's go through some questions while you struggle with that. Demogorgon. Thanks, Gregory Schmidt. Oh, Good research. Right on. That roper should come with a mic no bad. <laughs> this document. Demogorgon. Thank you, Mark Orr. You guys are very helpful. Wow. Are kobolds back to being reptilians, or are they dog boys? Ask C Meat 82 They're reptilian again. I know, they were dogs for a little bit. Which I was okay with, but just pick one. Chris Camerai says, it's interesting that D&D is starting to allow monster races as well. Iron Kingdoms just did a big module that does something similar. People have been playing with it around with that for years, though. So This is a crazy monster. <laughs> so It's pretty intense looking. Uh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> He's got a, a very... It's, it's a pig. Dental situation going with, on there. Human hands, it's got a tail, it's got some wings, it's got a mohawk. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Nalfashi demon, mm hmm, Nalfashni demon. I mean, that's cool. You guys probably aren't gonna face that. My beholder search continues. Damn, it's a bummer, total bummer. No dragons. Yeah. No. Swashbuckler class, any experience with that? I do not have any experience um, with that at all. Sounds like fun, though. Make them be as much like Nightcrawler as possible. Okay. Got another one of these guys. A goblin archer. Goblin goober. A goblin goober. <laughs> Ooh. This this guy. 
Alex Moran asked, what's your favorite bad movie? Mine is Dude, Where's My Car? Ooh, this is a good question. That's a great question. Mm. I love bad movies. I do too. Um, Gosh, what's the... I feel like there are some really dumb movies that I love. Um, Now I can't think of any of them. Mm. I don't know. I love DOA. It's a crap, terrible movie, but I enjoy it thoroughly. Um, I want to be friends with this one. (laughs) He looks friendly. He looks fun. So I'm not going to say it's a bad movie, but Dark Star is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, that movie's not bad. Um, It's interesting. It's weird. Low budget. Student film. John Carpenter's first film. It's really good. I love it. That's creepy. uh, So uh, it seems like a lot of these things in the underdark are kind of purplish and... No pigmentation. Yeah. Oh, cool. Kuotoa. What those guys. I, I like that. It looks Fish like something man. from um, Star Wars. <laughs> like, right? Should be hanging out with the. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Ah. Ah. No. Okay, so that's it for all the little guys. We do have one more thing to open. Okay. And that. Oh, you want to answer some questions first? Let's answer some questions first. We got from Gregory Schmidt. I just wanted to say thank you for doing this live. I enjoyed it as much as watching one of your games. No spicy eyeball platter with the beholder, unfortunately. It would have been tasty. Word. Scrumptious. How how do you feel about always being known as the eyeball eater now? I am okay because it's really brought to life how often I talk about eyeballs, like (laughs) on the regs. So that's okay. When I was like in high school, I would draw, draw eyeballs on everything. That's cool. Yeah. I really want a Heroes of Awesome shirt with a, like a knife through an eyeball. Yeah. I think it would be cool just to have like an eyeball on a shirt. Just an eyeball? Just an eyeball. You, would you want it to say Heroes it, of no, Awesome? No, it would just be just... like the optic nerve, like maybe spells out the Heroes of Awesome. Oh, man. What a cool design. Yeah. Sweet. I like that. We okay, so that. big one. That's the big mama jama. Okay, you work on them. Let me ask some questions real fast. We're going to go rapid fire. Do you think there are any other systems you would experiment with, or is it D&D for life? Ask Chris Camerai. Um, I would play Shadowrun. I would be interested in doing uh, playing in a Star Wars, the current Edge of the Empire system. It's kind of the more scoundrelly one. Um... Uh, I don't know. How about you? Anything else you would play in? Nah. Eh. D&D or nothing. Any thoughts on what the new class's backgrounds will be in the Sword Coast Adventures Guide, other than what we know of? Maybe Bullywood. Oh, snap. Look at this. There's a white Draco Lich. So for this one, they actually tell you what it is. So that's the one, like last time, if you get a whole case, which uh-huh. is four of those bricks, you can order one of those, too, as a store. Uh-huh. So that one, you know what you're going to get. First time, you didn't know, but I think they've been more open about it since then. So what do you do with these? Wait for you to guys to level up to be able to face that. So do you have a room in your house that's just for D&D minis? Oh my gosh, you would think so. Um, <laughs> my apartment is just Pee-wee's Playhouse. <laughs> I bet. Ludicrous stuff. Because I collect a little bit of everything. Jeez. Good lord. So that is an undead white dragon whose soul is kept in a phylactery. And it's you know, basically unstoppable. Unless you can get to that phylactery. And destroy it and then you have a chance of beating it it's pretty amazing i like the tail yeah bony tail it's really cool all right well i guess that's it right do you want to run through some questions sure let's do it look at the pics on twitter and must say what we can see in the video doesn't do them justice thanks for sharing yeah the banshee so cool um, 
Yes, thanks for doing this. Great questions, answers to questions, thoughts on doing more live stream chat stuff. Ask Chris. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you guys have any ideas on what we should be doing. Well, if you're not watching uh, Dominion of Esalen every other Sunday morning, that's probably the best live experience, I think. Yeah. Because you get to watch us play and then make Bo ask us questions. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but I would consider doing other stuff. It's kind of hard to set up. Yeah. But I'm down. But, uh, hey, let us know what you want to see live. For sure. Um, what systems other than D&D have you played? Oh, my God, Elliot. Um, <laughs> one of my all-time favorites is the Ghostbusters game from West End Games. Wait, what? There's a Ghostbusters role-playing game. Okay, I would play that. I take I take my answer back. I ran that for a little bit, and it was super fun because they had... They had the best critical fail situation ever. So they had a six sided, they had a bunch of six sided die, and you would roll those for your actions and whatnot. But the number one on each of them was the Ghostbuster uh, symbol. Mm. And if the ghost die came up, something wacky happened. Cool. And I've pretty much used that in every campaign ever since then. Could I play Janine? You could you could play Janine. There's stats Good. for her. Or you can make your own Ghostbuster. We did a. I ran the a campaign where they were the uh, Texas, the Austin, Texas franchise of Ghostbusters. Awesome. It was super fun, and it's it's a really cute little rule system. Fun to make characters. I love that. I'm really looking forward to the new Ghostbusters. I'm pretty interested in it too. I will I will check that out. I mean, also I sort of cut my teeth on um, the Marvel superhero system. I love a lot. I'd like to redo that with uh, some other kind of world. Okay. Would you ever consider playing D and D with players on Hangouts? Is yes. it possible? Um, that is that's an interesting question. It seems like it would be feasible to do something like that. Um, so I've heard of a thing called Roll20, where you can play uh, yeah. it over the internet. Mm -hmm. And you'll be seeing a video sometime pretty soon about something we're doing, which will open up the potential opportunity to do that. Cool. I am fighting with these figures. OK, so is there any reason you guys chose Google Plus instead of Twitch? Just wondering, because the Twitch chat is so much easier but I do realize it's bandwidth hungry. There was a reason. Mark had a reason for it. Yeah, I feel like we were told a really good reason, but I don't know <laughs> really. I don't know if it's easier for us to archive this way. Oh, that's right. That's it. We, we like to archive these um, videos on the YouTube channel, and I don't think you can do that very easily or maybe at all through Twitch. Good so. this thing. Difficult. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Halloween time. And want a good bad movie of cheese and and schlock. schlock. Wolf Cop is the movie for you. I watched Wolf Cop and it was pretty fun. I've never seen Wolf Cop. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay. I like a little bit of quality to my horror. Um I mean, if I'm not watching something like The Thing or American Werewolf in London or a classic, mm. I'll watch something that might be kind of bad, but also really good. Like, um, what was that movie called that had uh, James Gunn did it? Slivers was really good as a horror movie, but um, had kind of like a cool, you know, ode to movies of the 50s, cool. those kinds of horror movies. Um Tweet me. Uh, I will give you so many Halloween recommendations once I'm in front of my movies. I'll be like this, 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 and this. Uh, it is possible there are things like Vassal, Roll20, Roll Tabletop Simulator, says Chris Camerai. So you can check yeah. out those items. Plus, d is actually doing something called uh, Sword Coast Adventures or something like that, huh. which I've pre-ordered. I'm going to try it out. I don't know if I'll have too much time to mess with it. but You should check it out. Give it a shot. <laughs> uh, dog, a donkey mint. Gotta ask this question. What is your picture? It's a crazy dude with eyes. It looks maybe turquoise eyes. It's really tiny. Almost sort of looks like Doctor Spectrum. But what's the difference between a Draco Lich and a regular Lich? So a regular Lich was like a human wizard, whereas a Draco Lich is a dragon. 
So this, ah. this is really cool. You couldn't see this when it was held. It's still not really working right. But when it's on its thing, he's got like a cool gangster lean going on. So. Uh, gangster lean. Gangster lean. Where do Dragonborn shop for armor? Can they just <laughs> wear generic stuff in shops? Well, I mean, I feel like we're going through that right now we with Molly's character. I have everything you could want. Mm. Everything. But she's a little dragonborn, so they really, maybe she'll be able to find something that will fit her. For that. for my dragonborn, because she's a monk, she doesn't wear armor, so that works out perfectly. That's so. She's a monk? She's a, she's a monk. <laughs> That's awesome. She's so great. Um, I just noticed that advanced D and D fiend folio behind you guys with the weird yellow monster thing on it. I have it. It was my dad's in the eighties. He colored in a lot of the pictures. I enjoy showing it off. So every time I buy a classic D and D module, usually the fiend folio, or of course the monster manual, the first thing I check is to see if they colored in the pictures. And almost always there's at least one monster that got colored in. So what do you do? You don't take it if they do. Yeah, I'll buy it. Just buy it for less. Mm. It's, I mean, if it's not perfect condition, it doesn't have maximum value, but I, I love that stuff. I love seeing someone like was really into, you know, an owlbear or whatever. I don't think Albert was in the early ones, but well, guys, it's ten o'clock. I think we're about to sign off. Um, thanks so much for watching us. Um, this is a lot of fun. Despite the beholder I, yeah. being gone, it's a, a bummer we didn't get a beholder, but who knows? Maybe we can trade with somebody. I was just gonna say, if you get a beholder where you're at, I have some good trade figures for you. I actually, so in one of the other boxes I previously bought, I got a red Draco Lich. It's much smaller than the white one. It's kind of regular dragon size, but uh -huh. it's pretty badass looking. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. And um, we're going to put this on the Weirdling channel on soon. On YouTube. So, and keep us posted if you want us to do anything else. We love doing stuff. Oh, and the new episode should be coming up in a day or soon -ish, two? Yeah. Soonish. Soonish. For the OG Heroes of Awesome. Um, Abby is such a badass in this upcoming video. You have to check it out. It's going to be good. So we'll see you then. You. Yeah. Bye, guys.